Hi, my name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you how to draw a valentine heart using GIMP. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new layer to draw the shape of the heart here. I'm gonna take the path tool and make a curve. By adding new points and moving them around, I'm trying to give it the shape of the heart. Then change the color to black and stroke the path. Press Enter to convert it into a selection. Now I'm gonna add a new layer for coloring. And I'm gonna change the foreground and the background colors to light and dark red. Take the blend tool and drag within the selection. And here we go. Next I'm gonna add a new layer for shading. Go grab the pass tool and try to isolate the area on the bottom part of the heart. Do path to selection, take the bucket flip tool and fill it in with black. Make sure to change the opacity of the layer. Next we're gonna need a new layer for highlighting. Uh, again take the path tool, draw a couple of curved highlighted areas on the heart and fill them in with white. Lower the opacity. The next part of the tutorial is gonna be a little harder. First I'm gonna create a new layer for the arrow and we're gonna need a grid view for that. Take the path tool and draw the arrow using the grid. Then do path to selection, stroke the selection and finally fill it in with brown. Uh, next I'm gonna crop the layer, which is not very necessary by the way, but it's very useful. Then move the arrow and finally rotate it to get the right angle. Then scale it a little bit to get the correct proportions. Next duplicate the layer, move the copy behind the heart, select the first layer and erase uh, one half of the arrow. Then go down to the copy and erase the other half of the arrow. Good. Now take the path tool and draw a few lines sticking out of the spot where the arrow comes out. I'm gonna do a little trick here. Make a path, do path to selection, press delete and finally stroke the path. Then erase the unnecessary stuff. You can move the arrow now to position it in the right spot. And finally add the third line here. Next add a new layer for shading. I'm gonna use the path tool to isolate the shaded area and fill it in with black. Lower the opacity of the layer. Then add a new layer for highlighting and do the same there, but uh, with the white color. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to check out my other drawing lessons. Thanks for watching. Bye.